This is a final docket for 25456. And at the same time, it's a video to show RFC number one. Right now, under contract, we've got three areas for asphalt repair. 7x3, 7x2, and 7x3. Those are the house numbers. House number 1620, 1705, and 1709. I've sprayed them all in. We also have a change order that we put together for house 1601, but now that I'm out here and looked at it again, I'm changing it. So, Jamie, if you could revise RFC number one to say the following. At house number 1601, it's not a two by four anymore, it's a five by five. At 1604, it's a six by five. At 1631, it's a four by two. And at 1712, it's a four by one. Jamie, please note that these repairs will be done at the same time as these repairs. Okay, so you don't have to put an additional mobilization on it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. You can see the numbers that are circled. I'm going to show you each house number based on uh, this order. What's one, two, uh, let's see, where's number three? Oh, there it is. Three four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna show you is house 1712. As you come into the entrance and you take a left, after you go into the entrance, you'll come around the first corner and you'll get up to this house, which is 1712. Okay, there's the entrance, here's the corner. Here's house 1712. Small little repair, okay? Just a small repair, four by one, okay? We'll make our way down here to where my car is at. That's going to be 1631. Okay, at house 1631, we've got a 4x2. Okay, simple. We just got to make it flush with the concrete. Please note that behind my white line, there's an uh, outlet. And you'll see in the asphalt, it looks like there's some power right there. So we need to be careful when we are saw cutting okay uh, now I'm gonna take you down to the next one uh, this next one is house number 1620 house number 1620 is under the original contract so for what I've shown you on those first two those were part of the change order part of RFC number one but here at 1620 this is one of the original contract repairs. I originally said it was a seven by three and it still is a seven by three. We gotta make it flush with the concrete and then bring it up here to the building, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna show you the fourth and fifth repair. That's a house 1601 and 1604. At house 1601, we're changing that to a five by five. At 1604, it's a six by five. So when you come into the entrance, this does a full circle by the way, but when you come into the entrance and take a right and drive all the way to the back, to the very back, you get to 1601. I originally had this as a smaller repair, but I noticed that I could see the concrete garage floor there and it's got a dip so it'd be smart to just cut this out raise that up so that way water will try to travel this direction instead of staying in this little pocket here where there's water there's a tree root right here you can kind of see it in the grass but we need to cut that tree root right there fix this up five by five and then going directly across is 1604 at 1604, we got kind of the same situation. Um, this one, I made it a little bit bigger. Um, right now, we've got this tree root, so it's causing a little puddle here. And then it's causing water to go down that direction. So we need to cut this out. And it's going to be somewhat of a challenge. I'm going to let them know that there could potentially still be some puddling here. Unless we want to get the water that falls from the roof to go that direction into the flower bed. I'll be able to raise it up as much as possible. And then when we get over to here, to the sidewalk, it's gonna be somewhat of a challenge because it has sunk. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask 
the customer if he'd like to get this done right here. This is a four by four uh, exposed aggregate concrete at four inches. I'm gonna see if he wants to get that replaced because as you can see, it has sunk down. It's causing water to go that way. If I'm able to lift the asphalt up, I can go along the foundation. I can raise up this concrete and we can keep this water going this direction instead of towards the house. Uh, I mean, it'll be really close. So, um, it'll be really close. But he definitely probably needs to have that fixed. Otherwise, water is just going to travel there. So, I'll let you know what the final verdict is on that. But this is what it looks like right now. We might just replace it and call it good and he'll have water still going over into that area. Okay, and the last two I'm going to show you is house 1705 and 1709. And you'll see how I added two more feet onto 1705, but I took off two feet on that. So it's kind of a wash. Okay, and I'm at 1705, which is part of the contract. Um, I made this one a little bit bigger, like two feet bigger, because I noticed this time right up in here there's a dip and it'd be smart to just fix that get that lifted up and get it up to the height of the concrete here and then get all the water to travel this direction all right and then here's the last one 1709 i shortened this one by two feet okay so now it's uh uh i think i did a four by i think i did a four by two or four by three it was a four by three and it's just right there. There's some tree roots there. That's uh, one tree root actually right in there. Okay. That's it.